The emperor was very fond of new clothes. He was so obsessed that this proved to be a problem because he neglected his loyal subjects. See how two scoundrels tricked him and how it would change the emperor forever. This storybook is an adaptation of Hans Christian Andersen's classic tale. The Emperor's New Clothes, page one. A long, long time ago, there was an emperor who was very fond of new clothes. He actually spent almost all his money on different outfits, shoes, hats, waistcoats, and anything that was related to new clothes. He neglected the needs of his subjects, soldiers, and army. He rarely went to the theater or took a walk in the forest except if it gave him a chance to show off his new outfits. He had clothes for every hour of the day. It would be normal for someone to say, the emperor is holding court or he is reviewing his troops, but in his case, it was usually said that he's in his dressing room. By the way, his dressing room was the size of a grand ballroom. He spent all his time trying on new shoes or pants or many of the items that he wished to add to his wardrobe. Because of his obsession with new clothes, the emperor attracted scores of tradesmen who wanted to sell him their wares. How does the emperor's obsession affect his subjects? What are the two scoundrels up to? How do they fool the emperor's advisors? What is the final result of the hoax? The Emperor's New Clothes is a classic story retold for all to enjoy. Order now from Amazon.com or MedfordHouseKidsBooks.com.